Hey y'all, Organizing Hire. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why I've decided to move from LastPass to Bitwarden and how things are working out with Bitwarden for me so far. So I've been using LastPass for years, maybe like 2013, 2012 is when I started using LastPass. So almost a decade now. I really liked a lot of the features from LastPass. I loved that I was able to autofill passwords into a website really quickly with just a click or two. And I really, really loved that if I needed to come up with a password for something, I didn't have to think about a password. LastPass had a generator built in that would come up with passwords for me. So it was just a really easy to use program and I really liked using it for a really long time. Now in all the years I've used LastPass, I've never paid for the premium version, frankly because I think that a premium version is awesome, but you don't need to pay for it if you can get by with the free version. And I was always able to get by with the free version. A couple of weeks ago though, LastPass made an announcement that their free version was going to be dramatically altered from what it is currently. Namely, they were going to restrict folks to one type of device for access. So you could either access LastPass on a mobile device, like a phone or a tablet, or you could access LastPass on a laptop or a computer. So for someone like me who uses LastPass pretty much everywhere on my phone, on a tablet, on my computer. This was a big deal for me. There's been this huge outcry from the media and from users of LastPass and a lot of people have been thinking about jumping ship. Now I completely understand that LastPass at the end of the day is a business and their business model is based on the idea of increasing their profits over time. But what bothers me though is, and I know what bothers a lot of other people, is LastPass as a password manager is very average. Some people would actually say it's below average. The biggest thing people point to is the security breach that happened back in 2015 when certain user data was compromised. And of course, when this happened, the PR team at LastPass totally played down the whole thing and made it seem like, you know, they caught everything in time and the damage that was done really wasn't that bad. Some people see a compromised password manager as an unsafe password manager. Because if people can access things like your email address, how long till they can actually access your passwords? So a lot of people jumped ship back then, but I stuck with it. At first, when LastPass announced their plans to change their free model, I definitely thought about just paying the 26 bucks. It's really not that much money for a year. Uh, but I also wondered if I, what I was getting in the paid version could be offered in the free version of another program. I spent a lot of time in the subreddit for LastPass and a lot of people were talking about making the switch to Bitwarden. I hadn't heard of Bitwarden, so I did some research and I found some things I like. First, the program's free, which of course my favorite price. They have a paid tier, but the free version seemed pretty robust. Second, the program's open source. Now I'm not a tech person, so I saw people talking about this as a positive thing and I had to look it up. But one of the positive things about something being open source, among other things, is it basically means other people are able to look at the source code that was help, that helps to create the code for Bitwarden and they're able to notice any potential vulnerabilities or weaknesses before any potential hackers do. So I really like the idea of kind of a multiple security system approach. It also checked all my boxes in that it was available on the web, on Android, and it had a Chrome extension. So I decided to try out Bitwarden for a bit and I've been using it so far for about two weeks. It's not perfect, but here's how my experience has been so far. When it comes to actually using Bitwarden, the two pieces that I wanna focus on are using the passwords and the password generator feature. When it comes to autofill passwords, it's actually pretty simple. There is a Chrome extension, which I highly recommend that you download. That makes the autofill process significantly easier. One thing I did love about LastPass is when I went to an entry box, this little icon would pop up and I would just be able to click on it and insert a password automatically. But Bitwarden unfortunately doesn't have this feature, but you can use a keyboard shortcut on Windows, which is Control Shift L, and that autofills the password. And if you have more than one login for a site, you can hold Control and Shift and press the L key repeatedly to just cycle through each username. Alternatively, you can right click to bring up a window and then select the correct autofill. The password generation process is pretty similar to LastPass, but you do have to interface with the Chrome extension a little bit. So just like in LastPass, you can make the passwords as long as you need to and indicate which characters need to be present. So like numbers or symbols, for example, or you can right click again and auto generate the password. Other than that though, I really haven't come across any major differences between being able to use LastPass to fill in passwords and being able to use Bitwarden to fill in passwords. I'm able to go from site to site without having to remember what my password is. And at the end of the day, that's what I want. 
That's been my experience transferring from LastPass to Bitwarden. Did you make the switch too? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.